still finding it difficult to clean your studio background then this video is for you you are welcome to nice light media if this is your first time coming across our page we specialize in editing retouching and photography happy creators improve their skills now let's dive into today's topic how to clean studio background now the first thing you are going to do is to upload your uh your image after uploading your image i have already done that or i have already done that so the next thing we are going to do is to size our image so i'm going to use crop tool so i'm going to use crop tool to size my image i'm just going to turn this place to so you can use four by five brackets eight by ten if you are posting it on social media so you can use this for your social media stuff so all i'm going to do is to drag it like this so so i'm just going to leave it like this then click enter then click enter so the next thing i'm going to do now is to you know uh use this rectangular marquee tool so i'm going to use rectangular marquee tool to circle it this way then hold down my shift control then draw it this way so what i'm going to do now is to fill this part of the image so i'm just going to fill this part of the image so i'm, go I'm going to click my right click then come to fill on fill here if your uh if your fill is not on content aware you change it to content aware <coughs> then you turn all the correct adoption then you make it you turn it to normal then opacity 100 you click okay so now you can see how our photo is looking so the next thing i'm going to do now is to delete this then i'm just going to pick my patch tool then so the i'm just going to i want to correct this part of the image by you know dragging it to the smooth part of the surface so you can see So you can see how I'm doing this now. So when you look at this image, it's not balanced. So what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to use my crop tool to make it balanced by taking it like this, then drag it like this, drag it like this. Then I'm going to click my cutter away. Click my content away, then click enter. So you can see how it's looking now. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to uh, trim my image out from the background. Now I'm just going to pick my quick selection tool, pick my quick selection tool, then come to select subjects, come to select subjects, then click OK. So now, this is how it will look. So here we come. You can see how it's looking. So uh, this select subject have already helped us to trim our image. So what we are going to do now is to pick our polygonal lasso tool, then zoom your image out. Then you correct the the parts that are nowhere max. You correct you correct the part that are nowhere map. So I'm just going to hold down my shift, then correct this part, correct some of the parts that are nowhere map. Then you can see. For your shortcut when trimming, know that when you are trimming, like when you are adding, uh, shift is plus, then my uh, alternative is minus. For instance, to add this place to the image, 
I'm just going to click my shift, which is plus, then, you know, add it to it. You can see? So, if I want to remove this place, I'm just going to click alternative, then remove this part. So, you see? So, you can see how it's done. So, those are the shortcuts for this trimming. So, now, I'm done, you know, masking the parts that are nowhere mapped. So now what I'm going to do here now is to, you know, feather my image by clicking right click on your mask. Then you come to your feather. So always feather with two. Since it is studio image, you feather with two. So the amount of feather you use, that's how the, your edges, the edges of your photo is going to smooth. So all I'm going to use, I always make use of uh, two, two radios when I'm doing, when I'm doing my studio feathering. So I'm click, I'm going to click. Then I will come again to, uh, I will click my right click. Then come to select inverse. Then I will click Ctrl J to cut out the background. Then after cutting out the background, the next thing I'm going to do here now, the next thing I'm going to do here now is to click the background again. Then Ctrl J. After Ctrl J, I'm just going to click the middle of this layer one. Then click Ctrl. Then it will max, it will map it back again. So I'm just going to select invert, click my left, right click, then select inverse. So here now I want to max. What I want to do now is to max this uh, this background, which is the image out from the background. So I'm going to max it like this. You can see. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to take it above the background, which is the layer one. So take it above the background, then come to the background. What I want to do now is to smooth the background make the surface of the background look so beautiful so now i will come to my filter then come to my blur here i will come to my gaussian blur so i'm just going to blur out the uh the background you can see so i'm just going to blur out the background so now you can see so then you click OK. So you can see before. You can see before and after. So you see before and after. You can so you can see this. This is one of the simplest way to uh, edit your studio background to clean your studio background. So before you so what I'm going to do now, I just want to blow this darkest part of the background i just want to blur them out so i'm going to feather it with high feather using 99 to feather it so that the line of the uh blowing won't show on the background then you know feather it then use a radius to blow it like this you can see so the same thing apply to this place let's so, go to blow it this way so i think we are i think we are good now we are good now so this before is before and this is after we are good now so you can go ahead and add your background yeah you can go ahead and add your background but that is not going to be to the topic that would be another day topic so we are done with we are done with this so you can see the before and after so to see more of our videos subscribe click on the subscription button then subscribe Turn on the notification bell for you to receive any of our video we are going to
be dropping. So our next class is going to be how to add background to your image. So stay tuned. Click turn on the notification bell, then stay tuned.